Okay, so in our class, we are currently talking about the book Hester, and our project is going to be on Hester. Not on top of Hester, it's going to be about Hester. And I don't mean going around Hester, it's going to be, on the, it's going to be concerning the topic of the book Hester. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dating Game. Tonight we have six contestants. Edward Vernon, Harry Vernon, Roland Ashton, Hester Vernon, Emma Ashton, and Catherine Vernon. And they're all related. Now we are going to bring up the lovely gentlemen to introduce them and to answer a few questions. So Mr. Edward Vernon, is a 30-something-year-old banker who enjoys botany, attempting to subvert the power of his all-powerful cousin, and growing and maintaining his beard. Mr. Edward Vernon. <laughs> Mr. Harry Vernon is an honest young resident of the White House, located in Redborough, England. A man dedicated to his work, he nonetheless enjoys the occasional football match, attaching himself to his sister's hip, and making small, safe investments. Mr. Harry Vernon. <laughs> Mr. Roland Ashton, orphaned at a tender age, was until recently estranged from the grandparents who paid for his upbringing. He works as a stockbroker in London and enjoys seducing women with his eyes, acquiring new clients, and feeding abused kittens, like the ones in that sappy commercial with the sad song. You know, the song by Sarah McLaughlin. The song's called In the Arms of the Angel, I think, or maybe it's just called Angel. I'm not really sure. Sarah McLaughlin is Canadian, though. I know that. She's got some really great songs, so I'm not a huge fan. Who has the money for CDs these days, anyway? iTunes has a good deal going on where you can buy just one song at a time. Roland's probably never used iTunes before, but he might want to invest in it. So, question number one. What is the most important thing in your life? Independence, both financially and socially. I want to be my own man. Having a comfortable domestic life and enough money to support it. Taking financial risks that put everything on the line. Question two. I want to have your babies! Moving on, uh, question two. What is your opinion on Catherine Vernon's placement as head of the Vernon family? When a stranger comes to Redborough, there is one name he is sure to hear. If she were a duchess, she could not be better known. To be her relation carries a certain weight. We were always a leading family in the place, I suppose, but we are, but, but why are we, for instance, so much better than the married views? and all the rest of the respectable people. She has something to do with it, I can't deny, though I don't like her any more than you. We owe everything to Aunt Catherine. I'm always ready to say so, wherever I go. Well, she's not likely to adopt me, but she's kind to me, a pleasant, handsome old woman, and a most credible relative. Question three. Your lovely young relative, Hester, has recently come of age. What do you think of her? Well, I, I had always admired her, her independence and her courage. Her eager intel intelligence has always furnished me since she was a child with that a sort of ideal. I had kept wondering what kind of woman she would grow up to be, and lo, here she is, a woman grown, drawing other eyes than mine, the object of admiring glances and complimentary remarks. I know she doesn't think much of me, but, but surely I am as good as any old fellow. I should like to buy her a quantity of cesareans, for instance, exactly at the right moment, neither too soon nor too late, and sell them the next day, perhaps, when the market is turned, and hand her over a thousand pounds, or two, <laughs> which she could have made without, as I say, spending a penny. All right, well, thank you very much to our three wonderful gentlemen contenders. And now, if you guys would like to exit to the left, I'll bring up the ladies. <laughs> Our first lovely lady is Miss Hester Vernon. She is a 19-year-old girl who spent her formative years in France, but who is currently resides in the Vernon Ring. Hester loves going for quick walks in the country, practicing anti-ageism by spending time with her elderly neighbors, and holding unnecessarily long grudges. Miss Hester Vernon. <laughs> now we have Miss Emma Ashton, who is a loquacious young gossip who hails from her seven siblings' houses. An avid husband hunter, she spends most of her waking hours in search of her chance, and enjoys German knitting and forcing awkward situations on the, those unfortunate enough to be around her. <laughs> Miss Emma Ashton. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Last but certainly not least, we have Miss Catherine Vernon. Miss Catherine Vernon is renowned for her courage in saving the Vernon Bank and for her 
her charitable contributions to those less fortunate than her. And let's face it, who isn't less fortunate than her? She enjoys laughing at the antics of her relatives and has the largest herd of palm-sized miniature ponies in all of England. Miss Catherine Vernon. <laughs> is your place in this male-dominated society. I'm as good as any man out there, but no one's allowed me to show it yet. To find a man to marry so that I can have my own home and status, and so that I don't have to live with my siblings anymore. Well, I am the exception to the rule due to special circumstances. However, this is a male-dominated world. Question I two. I want to have my baby. <laughs> OK, uh, question two. What do you think of Mrs. Algernon Meridue's dancing tea parties? I really just go to make my mother happy when I do go at all. They simply aren't what I expected. She gives one every week, and both for a little amusement and that I may lose any chance that I may be going, I should very much like to go. But all this must have come to a great deal of money. Algernon Meridue has only a share of his father's business. He has no private money, has he? But of course, I know he has no private means, and Ellen's little money will soon go at that rate. Oh. For the final question, question three. Where would you like to see yourself in the near future? I want to prove myself, like Catherine did, to be a heroine and earn everyone's respect. And the comfort of having a home of my own and a husband with a settled income. I wish to remain firmly embedded retirement and to continue keeping the Sabbath period for the rest of my sunset years. All right, so now you've seen the three gentlemen and the three ladies. So now it's time for our studio audience to vote to, and to discuss who they think is the best candidate out of each gender. The results have been tallied and Michelle Mouton's new boyfriend is... 